Welcome to the Hacienda Road here. Today we're going to make something exciting here from the United States. We're going to make Navajo fry bread. Now, uh, if I sound funny, which I'm sure I do, I have got a huge head cold and a cough. So, bear with me. Uh, to make the Navajo fry bread, you really only need four ingredients. You need salt, flour, bacon powder, and water. Uh, that's it. And I'm going to show you how to make it. Very simple. Now, once we make them and try them, we're going to make Navajo tacos with them. I have some New York strips here uh, looking delicious. I've got some jalapenos and tomatoes from the garden, some hatch peppers that I got at the grocery store, and we're going to be grilling those too. And I'll show you how to make these beautiful tacos. So let's get going. Right, so we got these beautiful New York strip steaks here, and now we're going to hit them with Uncle Steve's Gator Shake. I got the uh, charcoal grill uh, going out there, um, hickory chunks, and uh, charcoal. So we're going to grill these up and slice them real nice to go on the uh, Navajo tacos. Okay, the uh, Navajo fry bread is real easy to make. Uh, what we have here is four cups of flour to which let me adjust the camera a little bit here uh, not quite let me raise it so you all can see okay yeah much better okay to which we're gonna add for four cups of flour you're gonna want uh, three teaspoons of salt Okay, and I'm remembering the recipe here. Um, and it's all by eyeball. You know, you really don't have to be perfect. Okay, so you got the salt. And then you got uh, baking powder. And we're going to need um, four teaspoons of that. Two, three, and we'll call that four. Okay, so uh, now we're going to take a whisk or your hands or whatever and mix that in very well. Okay, so I whisked that in really well. And what I have here on the side is four, four and a half cups of uh, very warm water. And so initially we're going to add, oh, half of it. And uh, then this is what we do. Um, we get our clean, washed hands in there and start making the dough. Now the dough is going to be a little shaggy and um, you really have to go to by eyeball consistency and um, as we mix we the royal we uh, we will continue to add the warm water by dribs and drabs uh, until it gets the right consistency I will not bore you with any more of this so join me when it's ready I did not add any more water to this, and uh, so I, I would guess the ratio is uh, two parts flour, one part water. So anyway, you want the dough to look like this, real nice, pliable. Um, you don't want to overwork it, so we're going to call that done. Now we're going to cover it uh, with a cloth, and um, there. We're going to set it on top of the stove just to get it out of the way and we're going to let it rest for one hour so it's been about an hour here's the dough and I got some canola oil heating up and uh, so now we're gonna make the uh, Navajo fry bread now folks bear with me this is the first time I've ever done this um, I'm not even sure I can do it right but anyway so we're gonna pinch out a piece of dough about this size and we want to make it into a ball and in the Navajo Indian style <laughs> we want to do this kind of like make it into a tortilla but I think I'm gonna to need to flour my hands first so stand by alright so we're back I got the flour here now you can roll out the dough, but um, I don't know. I saw a lot of videos where they're doing it this way, and I kind of want to do it this way to see if I can. 
um, because after all we're having fun right we're just going to stretch it out um, kind of like mamacita makes tortillas uh, yeah all right looking good kind of like a mini pizza I suppose um, the texture of the bread is just gorgeous uh, simple ingredients salt baking powder water and uh, the gluten has really worked out really well and uh, you know you could make them as big or as small as you want and so I'm trying to make them you know about the size it's gonna fit in the frying pan I'm using so I'm gonna call this good uh, good enough for video anyway so let's move the camera so you can see the uh, fryer right so they say you want your oil to be at 375 degrees now my thermometer that I use for smoking only goes up to what 250 so I don't know anyway so it looks good we're just gonna put the bread in there and we're gonna fry it like that now um, yeah it's supposed to bubble up like that looking good uh, not too shabby first time around now typically Navajos would fry it in venison fat or buffalo fat now they probably have to get a lot of venison to get enough fat to fry it in but whatever or lard but we're not using any of that we're going 21st century no yeah 21st we're going canola oil babies alright so we're gonna fry them until they're golden and supposedly they uh, are kind of crispy on the outside and nice and fluffy on the inside now it's about ready so we're gonna turn it over look how nice and brown it is and uh, when it's done we're gonna put it over here in this uh, contraption I set together to drain and um, I'll be making these babies one by one and so join me when I have the stack done alrighty so here we are we got one two three four five six seven out of those four cups of flour but I don't know I made them all odd so anyway let's let's try this one this one came out odd shape looks like a canoe but um, anyway again my first time making it Ooh, texture is real nice hmm mm. Yum! Perfect amount of salt. Oh yeah. Mmm. Look at this. Man, this would make the best pizza crust. And I'll tell you this. Um using canola oil does not impart any flavor perfect uh, I'm sure it would be delicious with lard but okay so um oh I gotta eat this one um let's go ahead and make a Navajo taco first things being first we got to put some refried beans on it we'll slather some like that oh yum okay then the meat then the cilantro, then the fresh red onion. Gotta have some finely chopped, well, just chopped iceberg lettuce. Some tomato and a roasted hatch chili pepper. Yum. To that we add some Mexican crema, and that's not all. Finally, we'll top it with some queso fresco some Mexican fresh farmer's cheese which Navajos delight in and there you have it a Navajo taco thanks for watching people this is my first try ever making this and it smells delicious